Now, one thing about this gyro plane malarkey is that the throttle and the steering are all both on the left stick. The right stick doesn't do anything. So I think an idea might be to take one of these apart and see if I can swap over the steering to the right stick. And this is for an Eosheen EO10. And they're very, very popular little quadcopters, so hopefully this is of use to several people. So first of all, remove the two batteries and take out the two screws, one on each side. There we are, that's the transmitter opened. And the next stage, I don't know yet because I don't know what I'm doing, but I have to <laughs> take this thing apart and have a look so I can sound all confident to you guys. So just give me a minute and I'll try and work it out. Right, so, putting on the confident voice again, there are three screws to remove, there, there and there, and that will allow you then to get to the front of the board. And then, <coughs> remove the fourth screw that was hiding underneath this wire. <laughs> um, and then, after everything's fallen out, all the little buttons and everything, you can remove the board from the front of the controller. Here's the front of the board and what we're looking to do is, this is the throttle and the steering on this one here. And this one's not doing anything. So what we need to do, if you look at the front, the blue one there, when I go left and right, if you can see this, that little part is moving left and right. So what we have to do, basically, is to change the functionality, the pin connections of that, to the same one on the right hand side. So yeah, really the whole lot doesn't need to come apart, the front can uh, be left in place, the four screws can be left in place, and all we're going to do is transfer these two at the top. So we're going to basically connect that one to this one, and that way actually we'll end up with um, both of them being able to do the function if we wish, but will also enable us to have throttle on the left stick and steering on the right. Studying this a bit closer, this left one of the three is connected already to the right one of the side that we want to emulate. So really, what needs to happen is these three need to be isolated. The tracks need to be cut completely and then simply solder three small wires across. Once your tracks are cut, and I've done them across up there, you can use a multimeter to check the continuity and make sure that there is no continuity across those cut tracks. And that's in the interest of safety too, of course, because you are flying things uh, that need to be safe. Hmm. Here it is now with the front back on, and uh, yes, all you do actually have to do is take the screw two screws out the back after taking the batteries out, and then cut, say, there, and across just so you isolate these three and uh, then I'll now solder across and we'll give it a try. There we go all three wires soldered across. Now just to put the back on and try it out. There we are now moment of truth. So I've got this uh, now so it can't run off anywhere. Let's bind it up. All right. Throttle Steering. Yeah, works fine. Throttle on the left, steering on the right. Here I am, stuck in the middle with you. Thanks for watching.